how do we, like Israel, turn fears into songs? There were times that their faith turned into fear, and there was God turning their fear back into faith, and then their faith moved them to sing. So how do we, like Israel, turn fears into songs? I think that we can learn first from Israel that we should retrace God's past deeds into our present trauma. We should trace what God's done in the past into our present dilemma. Hey, you know what? If there was a key word that Israel used to help keep themselves focused and to keep things in perspective, it might have been the word remember. Check out the new series on praiseandharmony.tv called Come to the Table by Dr. John Mark Hicks. The gospel invites all to the table. The gospel doesn't make a division between rich and poor, slave and free, male and female, black and white, Jew and Gentile. The gospel doesn't make those kind of divisions. The gospel unites at the table, and the table is the experience of communion between the rich and the poor, between the Jew and the Gentile, between the male and the female. In this eight-part study, you'll grow from in-depth lessons about communion. This series comes with PDF study guides and materials for small group leaders or families to use to help facilitate a more meaningful time of learning. I like the way Luther put it. When I am afflicted and a Satan is assaulting me, I don't run away from the table. I run to the table. Because this is a table of mercy. See, God is doing something at this table. I know we don't typically think about it that way. We tend to think about, what am I doing? I'm remembering, I'm proclaiming, I'm eating. But we need to think about what God is doing at this table. Come to the table. Available now at praiseandharmony.tv.